Jesus Christ. No, I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. Yo, just open the window and jump. the same fucking room that the other girl was in? Bro. How's that not good? Do not pull the main switch until you get something out to replace the faulty. It's the way I want to go, though. go on there. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I can go in here. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus, that scared the Christ out of me. The bombs will come in handy. You're not gonna take it? Are you sure it's just lip balm? Hmm. I guess so. Alright, off to the red room. My, my favorite. Hell? 
favorite thing ever. More shekels. Chat's collection. What are we at now? 40. 29 more to go for a free sub. I don't think we're supposed to make it back here, either. Mark! Jesus, there's cameras everywhere. What I like to call a kinky co hotel. Jesus Christ. You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. No. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be. An artist. A sculptor. 
an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on, then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. No! <laughs> Potential agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. That was the tape that was in that room. Wait, when did she get a flashlight? Oh, it's her makeup thing. I thought that was only in cars. Do girls' makeup things have freaking flashlights on them? Shekels down here, Chad, for your free sub. Someone, if you can, look it up and see if there actually is 69 shekels in this game, because I don't really know. I don't want to keep giving you guys false hope. Who says self-help books don't work? Okay, a good one. Kind of cliche. one other girl oh uh, is it the little girl nah it sounds too adultish god i don't know if i want to go in there i kind of want to just leave hello can you hear me It has to be one of those dummies. I'm leaving.
by Joseph Morello. That wasn't Dumet on the ferry. when we used to rat all of our novels and bars. That, it just made this game ten times more creepy. What the fuck? Why? Bethany. Bethany, Connie, and then we still need to remember the numbers from earlier. Do you guys remember them, chat? This is definitely a horror game. The last stupid code in the game, thank god. I don't have to deal with that shit anymore. Everything else has been kind of... ...pretty easy to figure out, but... ...those codes... God. What the fuck? Oh my god! Did I do good? Did he not dead? He's a little toasty. I don't know how much you should look forward to it, Daniel. It's gonna be a lot of grinding again. I try to have a little bit more fun than I did with, uh, Anzus, though. Game has been freaking me the fuck out, by the way. Supposed to be a code leader pattern. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Is this the pattern that I needed? Is this like Metal Gear Solid? Alright, let's go... Up, up. And then left. And left. Then you go up here. And then take a right. Go all the way over here. Go up. And it's locked. Killer's so smart, he fucking has to know that everyone's opening these doors and just leaving them open. The fuck am I supposed to be looking at here? to bring this over here? Lock the door with it? I think I can climb up on right here. Watch me block my own exit. FBI badge. And a jacket. Holy fuck, it's dark in here. Come on, this is what he would want, dude. There we go. Wait! Wait! Don't do anything! Fucking animatronic. No! 
I guess I'll keep it stuck on that. I don't know what to do. I wish us luck. For shit. How the fuck would he hear me? Never even got his last Shit. cigarette. this pleased to see you too Kate glad you're alive listen I found out some new information what that guy on the ferry that was not Dumet that was Joseph Morello he's a true crime writer I found one of his books how's he wrapped up in this I don't know have you seen Mark not in person but I spotted him on one of these monitors thank God I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Demet running around. Damn, look at that server room. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for Count's mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. 
He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Just need to blow up the Charlie would say whole this fucking thing. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. We saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parent. Chicago police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, oh, with the scene out of Saul? Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. How'd they let him set all this up, though? Oh, shit. This is everything about me. Jesus. Somebody try to call her number. Five 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 zero one four five. Wow, their number's only like fucking eleven digits apart. Crazy. Oh, at the fucking book. Okay, come on. He's profiling us.
We're not the first, are we? Jesus Christ. Guess we need to go all the way up now? Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. this. Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um, I, I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother, and we do believe in supporting relatives, and, and of course, you want to capture those precious memories. But, uh, we've had complaints from some of the other residents who are disturbed. Disturbed by Blueprints. Over here. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play the next game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look. He's in here, right? Three to all? We get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... Oh, God. If it looks like you want me to just figure out the switchboard by myself? There. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Yeah, I've got a, a pet rock, actually. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. <laughs> I'm sure I've got All this. Right. Here goes nothing. <sighs>
Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Fuck, it has the numbers on the wall. They're getting angry. Destroying all the furniture. Was this on the map? Almost got me. Not this time, game. More rooms being built. Huh. Oh, is that a shekel? That's a good one. Fifty. Nineteen more, and you guys get a gifted sub chat. Oh fuck my god, okay, that scared the fuck out of me. We do it. Close the fucking door. Oh, my God. Jamie, fucking run.
don't think I fucked up the plan. I think this is how it has to go. Shit! <laughs> What is it? I need a reverse card. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what does it? Shit, no! Game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. I put the screwdriver in between the wall. Oh. Oh? What? I, I can press it. I can press it. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Tell everyone I chose this, Kate. And if you get the chance to fuck the meta, do it. Promise me. I promise. Oh, fuck. Jamie! Thank you. Thank you. Survive, okay? Excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Charlie. He managed to escape the furnace only to fall straight into Jumet's grasp. It wasn't my fault. Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Would you like one now? No, fuck you, dude. I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. They're intimidating always, the first game. Watching very closely after that you kind of went downhill your snazzy clothes and shit <sighs> yes she put the screwdriver against the glass that's what she had to do come on but if she didn't get it square I don't think you understand how hard that would be to actually get it square like that where it'd break the glass. Or else it would just slip off. Come on. Oh. Hear that? Are we outside? Damn, homie. We escaped. <clears throat> Yo, let's get the fuck out of here, dog. Yo, who were those girls' names? I don't even know. Like, let's just leave. Oh 
shit, a fire escape. And some really old wood. Like a 17 foot drop? I don't think this guy is that strong. Use the pet rock. I don't know. Stay for now. <gasps> what? Why was she fucking behind? Use the rock. time. happening Baby, uh, run! stay away from me Kate, 
get up? Uh, I... I can't. It's not optional. He's coming. Let's go, run! Are you okay? The oh, fuck please. up? Why does everyone do that? Only way out is through. Yeah, we should probably should have looked at the maze before we jumped down. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god, dude. Fucking crows. God damn. No. Oh, this is a dead end. This is supposed to be a way out. Okay, you can't climb up anymore, so... That's what you really want to complain about right now? book you lent me navigating the maze of anxiety yeah well i could sure use that now you know okay, because we found mazes. it yeah i got that bit <clears throat> look i don't want it to come across as if i thought you had